Middleton Cardinal sports are always very good, and the volleyball team, I tell you what, that is no exception as we bring in the head coach from over there right now, and that is Franco Marcos as we're talking girls volleyball and the 2019 season. And, Coach, thank you so much for being here, and let's talk about the season that's going to be upcoming for you a little bit later on. How does the program look going into this season? Well, thanks for having us. Um, yeah. This is my 22nd year at Middleton, wow. and I'm so excited, especially for this year. we got about – over 100 kids that are signed up for tryouts, and tryouts are starting on Monday. Okay. okay? Um, this year, we're planning to have two freshman teams, two JV teams, and one varsity team, pretty much the same as last year. But what's different this year is that we're so talented. So the JV team this year, both of them, are going to play both against the Big 8 conference teams and then also out of conference. A little wow. different than last year where only one team played in the Big 8 and the other one went out of conference. Wow, Coach, uh, you built up quite a program there, uh, right there over the years, so congrats on that. Talk about the challenges, though, and expectations going into this season for your varsity team. Well, for the varsity team, expectations still the same. Competitive, every match we play, we want to be competitive. Uh, we also want to finish in the top tier, the Big 8, and then also um, fit, get to the sectional finals. That's important. Mm -hmm. Challenges, however, we're a very young team. We graduated nine seniors last year, oh, wow. and five of them were starters on the team. Outside hitter, Lily Welty, she's now going to be playing for the University of St. Louis, and she was an outside hitter. And then our middle blocker, Hannah Flotmeyer, she's going to be playing at the University of Wisconsin in Eau Claire. So we have a very young team this year. Okay, so now you, you lose some of those starters. Who are some of the names that you're looking at to fill some of those starting roles? Well, we have our returning uh, libero. She's a um, junior, Jada Chenelia, and we're hoping that she's going to carry the, the defense for us. We also have um, our middle blocker, Erica Collins, and we're hoping for her to lead both on and off the court. Then we have a very talented group of juniors, and I mean, they're going to be playing really well. I mean, it's going to be very exciting. But most important of all, we have two freshmen that are coming in. They're not only expected to make varsity, but they're expected to start. Wow. So it's going to be a very exciting young group of kids. You don't see that very often, especially with as big uh, the amount of numbers that you have and the amount of talent that you have as well. So, okay, going to state. Is that a goal then again for the season? Is that realistic for you? Well, as I mentioned, we got a young team. Mm -hmm. However, um, with the work ethic and the enthusiasm that I see from these kids and all the different things that they did over the summer, I believe that towards the end of the season, we will be in the conversation. I love it. Coach Marcos, thank you so much for being here. Good luck in your season. Thank you very much.